Top news, numerous outlets reported today that negotiations between the OpenAI board and its former CEO, Sam Altman, are ongoing. According to the New York Times, one sticking point have been guardrails intended to improve Altman's communication with the board, and which he has rejected. The pressure for the board to reverse course is immense. At this point, more than 95% of OpenAI's employees have signed a letter threatening to leave for Microsoft unless Altman is reinstated. Finance founder and CEO Chengpeng Xi Zhao pleaded guilty today to violating U.S. anti-money laundering laws, and he is stepping down from his role as CEO. In addition, he will pay a $50 million fine, small change compared to the $4.3 billion in penalties that Binance has to pay. Although he still retains his majority ownership of the company, he will not be able to return to Binance in an executive role for a period of three years after a compliance monitor is appointed. There is reasonable evidence to conclude that Tesla and its officers, including CEO Elon Musk, knew its vehicles had defective autopilot systems but still allowed the cars to be driven in areas not safe for that technology, a Florida judge found today. Tiger Global's Scott Schlafer transitions to advisory role after Wild Ride. Tiger Global Management is going through a major management change. Per a message from founder Chase Coleman sent this afternoon to investors of the 22-year-old venture and hedge fund outfit, and obtained by TechCrunch, Coleman is taking over both the outfit's public company investing and private equity businesses, while the longtime head of the latter, Scott Schlafer, becomes a senior advisor, a role that is a full-time position with no end date, per a source with knowledge of the maneuver. According to Coleman, the decision was made by Schlafer, largely because Schlafer and his family have made their home in Florida and want to stay there. Meanwhile, wrote Coleman, Tiger Global is operating in person out of our New York offices, and has found that having everyone together in New York is highly productive, and a better operating model for our firm. Tiger was founded by Coleman, a protege of hedge fund pioneer Julian Robertson, in 2000. Schlafer joined two years later. This is not the firm's first major leadership change. In 2015, one of its investment heads, Faraz Duin, left to set up his own investment firm, now called Arena Holdings Management, in New York. Tiger's private equity business was subsequently headed by Lee Fixel, who joined the firm in 2006 and stepped down to hang his own shingle in March of 2019. Fixel has subsequently raised a number of multi-billion dollar investment funds at that firm, called Addition. After Fixel's departure, Schlafer and Coleman continued as co-managers of the portfolios Fixel had overseen, with Schlafer taking over as its head. But he assumed control at what looks in retrospect to have proved a treacherous period for the firm. After announcing in January 2020 that Tiger Global garnered $3.75 billion in commitments for its 12th fund, Schlafer put the pedal to the metal, overseeing an operation that made bold bets at a rapid-fire clip despite already heated valuations. For a time, investors were so happy with the strategy, which appeared to be working, that they awarded Tiger with a whopping $12.7 billion vehicle that it closed in March 2022 after just four months of fundraising. Around the same time, Schlafer purchased a Palm Beach home for $132 million. When purchased, it was the second most expensive single-family home in the U.S. Massive fundings, A121 Labs, a six-year-old Tel Aviv startup that is developing generative AI products along the lines of OpenEyes GPT-4 and ChatPT, raised a $53 million Series C extension round at a $1.4 billion valuation. Intel Capital and Comcast Ventures were the deal leads. The company has raised a total of $336 million. TechCrunch has more. LucidLink, a seven-year-old San Francisco startup whose platform enables teams to work on files without having to download or sync them, raised a $75 million Series C round led by Brighton Park Capital, with Headline, Adobe Ventures, and Baseline Ventures also pitching in. The company has raised a total of $90 million. TechCrunch has more. Quotient Therapeutics, a startup based in Cambridge, Ma. That is researching genetic variation at the cellular level in order to discover new therapeutics, raised a $50 million round. Flagship Pioneering, which incubated the company, was the deal lead. Big but not crazy big fundings. Ingenious. Build, a seven-year-old Nashville startup that specializes in project management software for real estate development and construction, raised a $37 million series around co-led by Morpheus Ventures, Navitas Capital, and Koch Real Estate Investments, with additional participation from American Family Ventures, JLL Spark Global Ventures, and Crow Holdings. Smaller Fundings, Craftwork, a startup founded this year based in Charlotte, 
NC, that aims to create a consumer brand for home repairs, starting with house painting, raised a $6 million seed round. Foreigner Ventures led the transaction, with additional funds provided by General Catalyst, Y Combinator, a 16Z general partner Jeff Jordan, and DoorDash co-founder Evan Moore. Munch, a two-year-old Tel Aviv startup whose platform uses AI to transform long-form content into short-form videos, thereby increasing ROI, raised a $7.2 million seed round led by a capital, with Liquid2, Cardumen Capital, and Reimagined Ventures also participating. Startup Hub.ai has more. Coherent, a two-year-old startup based in Huntsville, AL, that is developing developing room temperature edge capable quantum processors, raised a $4.7 million seed round led by Morpheus Ventures, with Draper Associates, Kosla Ventures, and Alpha Edison also taking part. Reboxed, a three-year-old London startup that sells refurbished and pre-owned phones, laptops, tablets, and smartwatches, raised a $2 million seed round from ACF investors. Tech funding news has more. Scalestack, a two-year-old New York startup that helps B2B SaaS sales teams make sense of their existing data by enriching it with third-party data sources, raised a $1 million round from Ripple Ventures, Forum Ventures, Flyer One Ventures, and Founders Network Fund. Metaverse Post has more. Sea Change Technologies, a five-year-old British startup that uses AI and machine vision systems at retail locations to reduce product losses from damage, theft, and fraud, raised a $10 million seed extension round led by Triple Point Ventures, with Runa Capital, True, Portfolio Ventures, and Material Ventures as well as existing investor Crane Venture Partners also stepping up. Silicon Ingle has more. This cab, an eight-year-old startup based in Lyon, France, that is designed to assist builders in developing net-zero building strategies, meeting environmental regulations, and adhering to carbon budget requirements, raised a $5.5 million series around led by KOMPASVC, with additional investment from Rise Prop Tech Fund, Semex Ventures, and Alter Investment as well as previous investors A. O and Bank Desk Territoires. EU Startups has more. Serve, a two-year-old Irish startup that is working on on a coding platform to allow data scientists and developers to collaborate more easily, raised a $3.8 million pre-seed round led by Elkstone Ventures. The Business Post has more here. New funds, Kintera Capital, a Canadian private equity firm, has closed its $565 million debut fund dedicated to securing critical mineral assets for battery development. The influx of private capital comes amid increasing government incentives into the sourcing and production of battery materials in North America. Going public, Figure Technologies, the fintech firm co-founded by former SOFI founder Mike Cagney, is working with several blue-chip banks on an IPO for its lending arm, says Bloomberg, which says the idea is to take public figure so-called Lend co-division in the first half of next year, at a valuation of $2 billion to $3 billion. People, Skype co-founder John Talon was once a vocal proponent of of effective altruism and spent millions promoting it, but in the wake of the open AI, Sam Altman debacle, he is having his doubts. Data, a new report from Oxfam finds that the world's richest 1% generate as much carbon emissions as the poorest two-thirds of the Earth's total population. Essential reads, Democrats are pressing the IRS for any developments regarding its investigation of 100 cases of tax fraud involving Puerto Rico's so-called Act 22, which enables investors to qualify for a 0% capital gains tax rate if they purchase a resident on the island. Tesla's Texas factory is a mess, explosions, concussions, and even gruesome robot injuries.